and welcome to so fantastic with tiwa avanti and in this video i'm going to show you how to draft an off shoulder bustier dress and also how to use the bust gauging technique to achieve structure around the bust of your bustier with no bracket so as you can see i have traced the this pattern with no waist shaping at all and this is because i want to snatch the waist and also explain how this is done again so i have my calculations for the waist shaping here and the waist i'm working with is 26 inches so to snatch the waist i'm going to remove two inches from it and this is about 5 cm okay so i'm left with 24 inches and so i converted this to cm because i prefer to work in centimeters so i have 61 cm it's still the same as 24 inches so then i divided the 61 cm by 2 and i have 30.5 to get the waist reduction so i'll measure half of the waist measurement from the back waist all the way to the front so i have 26 cm at the back and then i'll continue from that 26 cm to the front okay so i'm going to stop at 30.5 cm and mark from the 30.5 cm mark then i'll measure to the center front of the pattern so what i have is 22.5 cm and so this 22.5 cm is the waist reduction that i'm going to work with this figure is this big because i have snatched the waist and i have also gone ahead to share my darts which is the 22 cm on all the dart locations so for the center back and i'm referring to this zip area as my center back i'm going to take out 2.5 cm okay so this is standard you shouldn't take more than take out more than 2.5 cm and at the front i'm going to take out 6 cm okay so you should take between 5 to 6 cm at the front don't do more than six so at the back of the pattern i'm taking out 5 cm and so what is left out of 22.5 after taking out all of this is 9 cm and so this 9 cm i'll divide into two which is 4.5 so this 4.5 is what i'm going to measure out at the side front and the side back i hope we understand what i just explained you can refer to my to the video on how to draft a basic nightly braid bodies to do this and if you're working with any other type of pattern you can skip all of these steps you know and then just draft your pattern the way you normally do and let's work together the next thing i'm going to do is the under bust tightening you just measure the shoulder to under bust length and then rule across then divide the under bust measurement that you have by four the figure you arrive at you now mark on the just like you did for the waist you mark that on the under bust line I'm, I'm going to mark where that stopped and then measure the rest of the pattern to determine what the under bust tightening is going to be for so here i have six six point five and that is what i'm going to share on both legs of the dart here the next thing to do now is to mark your desired neck depth okay so i'm working with five inches here so for this neck depth i'm marking in inches then i ruled across then i also do some tightening at the neck line okay and I'm, i'll do this by marking 0 0.5 inch and then i connect back to point d or the bust point okay so then i i connected to the under bust shaping Next, reblend all the sharp points so that you have a smooth curve when you are sewing go ahead to cut all of your pieces so i'll be using this ankara fabric to make this dress i'm going to cut the skirt out first i'll link some of the videos in which i explained how to cut skirts in the info card and also the description below yeah so i did that because i don't want this tutorial to be too long so with the skirt sorted out i pinned the bustier onto the fabric and then i added all of my allowances and cut out all of my pieces 
okay so here i have all of my pieces i have the skirt piece the front and the back with the lining i have folded in the allowance that i added at the hem i have ironed that in so that it's easy for me to finish up the hem line when i am done and this is going to be a really short dress this is the front of the bustier parts i have ironed cloth stay onto it the really thick type and also for the one that i'm going to be caging i have also ironed on a fusible stay onto it too but softer than the other one so this is the one that i'll be sewing all of the boning for the boss caging on okay and then i'll use the the cutting lining to finish up the neck this is the back it's just a normal bustier back now for the bust caging we're going to need to first of all create the boning lines so the first thing that i'll do is to trace out the pattern paper before i unpin it from the bustier so that i can mark out the allowances i don't want to work with the allowances after tracing make sure to mark the under bust point okay so then open it up because this is the center piece open it up flip your paper over align it at the center and also mark out you know trace it out on the other side and also on this side mark the under bust point and connect as shown trace out the your pattern paper on the side panel of your bustier also and also mark the under bust line and the bust point for the two side piece I forgot to mark the bust point on the center piece so and that's very important so that you so that all the points are are well aligned when you're joining all right so i'm just going to do that sharply so the next thing to do now is to grab the other side piece and mark as shown and also indicate where the bust points and the under under bust points are i'm going to be sewing boning to the under bust i'm going to be sewing boning at the bust point and then i'll mark 4 cm below the bust point i also want to bone this area of the bust you can also bone the true bust point and the true bust point is usually 4 cm below the bust line although i am not boning that area but you can if you want the thing is you can do this however you want just determine the areas you really want to give structure to and then mark as you desire just connect from the side of the of this piece you know just connect it towards the other side this way and then to the center piece and then blend into the other side so you will be able to do this easily since you have since you have marked this point okay so next i'll mark the line that i'm going to sew boning to on the bust point okay but at the bust point you have to mark 0 0.5 to 1 inch from the side of your um, bustier okay this is to ensure that you don't have any boning sewn along the the seam allowance remember that you will still be joining the sides of your bustier together so you don't want your boning going into the seam allowance you know this and getting in the way of your sewing so you just mark between 0 0.5 to 1 inch in so that you have some space between the boning and your allowance so connect as shown with your ruler and also remember to give space between the um, sewing allowance and the way the boning is supposed to start from on the other side so i'm going to have one boning here at the bust point and also one here below the bust point remember that i marked this one 4 cm down from the bust point okay for the one that that is going to be sewn on the under bust line i'll come up to the bust point line 
okay and then shape towards the other side you know just watch just the way i'm showing on the screen right now you just shape it like you would when shaping a corset cup okay you can use your curved ruler or just use freehand so the burning is going to be sewn from the bust point here into the under bust with a gentle curve okay and you have to do the same thing on the other side then i'm going to have another boning uh, at the neckline this is also optional but i just want to give structure to the neckline since the neckline is straight then i'm going to sew boning very close to the center fold here so um to do that mark the center of the middle panel then at the under bust line mark 0 0.5 to the left and the right of the center line and connect to the top as shown okay so this is what i mean i'm going to sew the boning here and here okay after joining the bustier together i'm also going to sew boning along the seam line and it's going to stop at the under bust please note that when you're trying to achieve a caged bust you don't have to iron the boning straight okay just use it this way but don't use it the other way around so that the shape is not distorted you know just make let it curve this way it's it works nicer and it's easier that way so now it's time to sew okay so just grab the lining that you intend to cage and start by joining the bustier first then iron the seams open so that you can work faster so now sew the boning into the seam allowance first and remember that you are stopping at the under bust line so after sewing one after sewing on one side flip it so that you can sew the other side of the regulin boning and you have to go slowly so that you don't break your needle and then your lines are straight you know and you're not skipping any parts so when you finish cut it off and then sew boning onto the other side okay so i'm going to sew the boning that will run into the center front the center fold so just place the boning as shown and then you sew okay so i have sewn the one meant for the bust point here I just placed you know at the point that I marked and then I stitched it all the way to the other side there isn't exactly an order of course it's advisable to start with the ones meant for the postier panels first then you proceed to sew on the other lines it's really easy okay so if you notice the bust is already taking shape okay so just continue to sew slowly like that take your time to avoid any mistake and to avoid you know you know to avoid the boning from moving on you or the bustier from moving on you or something dramatic like that okay so next i'm going to sew the boning meant for the under bust so just follow the curve of the bust gently like that you know because this is a little bit curved you might have to work your boning and just be patient with it you're going to get it so just follow the boning lines it's really easy just run it all the way to the other side when you're done flip and then secure the other side of the regulin boning So the one that i'm going to attach last is the one meant to give structure to the neckline of the of the bustier and like i said earlier i think i mentioned earlier that this one is optional you know i just want it there okay so after sewing this is what i have this is what it's giving right now the bust and the neckline have a lot of structure i don't know if i mentioned before this method is very is perfect for people that are really busty you know sometimes when you're working when you're making garments for busty people 
it's hard to find the perfect bra cup so this is an option that you can explore and it works for all bust sizes also so i have gone ahead to join the skirt part to the top i just placed the cage bustier under the main fabric i stitched the two with the skirt then i used the lining to turn the neckline of both together as one okay so this way the caging is not is completely concealed it's, it's not visible on the inside and also outside okay so i have joined the sides of the skirt i have hemmed it i have ironed it a little i've pressed it a little and now it's time to cut and attach the sleeves right so for the sleeve i'm going to be gathering the sleeve with a one inch wide elastic so i have added allowance for the elastic casing at the top edge of the fabric i just marked like 1.5 inch this will be my border and then it's from there that i'll take the remaining measurements so the 1.5 is what i'm going to fold in as the el elastic casing all right so the width of this fabric is 16 inches so at the top i'm going to mark eight inches instead of marking half half of the off shoulder sleeve width because i want to gather it at the top with elastic i'm just going to place the armhole of the dress on the eight inch point and then i'll shape out the armhole you know so that i'm sure that the armhole of the dress and also the sleeve is the same thing so at the top here i'm going to i added one inch seam allowance you know for joining the sleeve together and then you can connect with your ruler or use freehand to do that so i'm going to go ahead to sew the sleeve onto the dress off camera and after all this is how the old dress came together let me know in the comments if you are going to try the bust caging technique and if you prefer this to sewing cups don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel please do come back for more and stay awesome till i see you in the next one